First up, we're going to take a look at the protein data bank, which is the resource where all protein structures are deposited. Simplest way to find it, just Google PDB protein data bank, and there's your top hit. Now, we can find the proteins of interest in a whole host of ways. Uh, we could, for example, put the name of a protein in here. Okay, and we have then the whole 178 different structures of insulin. But one of the well, the easier way of finding a protein of interest is probably if you're just looking for a interesting protein, it's probably just to use one of these things down here. Now we've got a whole list of interesting proteins that they've put on here for you to have a look at. Uh, we've got things involved in protein synthesis, enzymes health and disease, bioenergy, bio infrastructure and communication, and biotech and nanotech. Let's take a look at an enzyme. Here's a whole list then of different enzymes that are types. Uh, we'll go for the top one for the minute, for example, on oxidoreductases. And here we go, alcohol dehydrogenases as an example. Let's have a look at this one. Right, now here a window will open if you've got the right software installed that will allow you to take a quick look at the protein. There it is. You can move, use your mouse to move the protein around. There we go. But what I want you to do now is find the PDB ID. Now that's down here at the bottom. You know, they always look like this, four letters and numbers together. We need that ID when we come to look at the protein in Pymol. 